I had um, the small vases and I put cacti in them. Those ones also, who kills cacti? Who? <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here hi my name is abasha and welcome to the slay squad now if you are a you know og follower you might have noticed a time when i used to have so many plants or flowers but mostly plants <laughs> as backgrounds of my video i had that big pot with the indoor plants that I used to have at the corner of my YouTube videos. Guys, I killed that as well. That huge plant that I was only required to water once a week. I killed it. <laughs> I killed cacti. Now for this one to remember, you have to be a real, real, real OG follower. I had um, the small vases and I put cacti in them. Those ones also, who kills cacti? Who? <laughs> It is I. So in the spirit of trying to sharpen my green thumb, I'm going to dedicate this video to plants and hopefully you and I can learn a couple of things. So let's head on straight into the video. Now for today's video, I've divided it into three sections just like the previous video. In the first section, we are going to tackle flowers. Now, <laughs> these are the flowers that I currently have in my bedroom that died a while ago. I don't even know why it's taken me this long to remove them they even smell terrible as you can see the flowers are clearly dead the it's even crunchy and then it's growing like i've just seen it right now you can see in there it's growing some white things can you guys see on the inside so yeah it's definitely they're definitely dead <laughs> at this point now i really feel like people are able to keep their flowers alive for at least a week but for me <laughs> being who i am day three four the flowers start to look like this so i've decided that we're going to try out a couple of things that are supposed to keep flowers alive and see whether it will help me keep my flowers fresher for longer because i have on my my stand my wooden drawer set where my makeup goes i like to put this vase <laughs> with flowers in there and i think it just looks really pretty especially when i light candles it's a vibe it's a vibe you guys <laughs> if i can keep them alive so now i got a bouquet of flowers very very pretty i got them from the florist at yaya center and the reason why i chose to get his specifically is because i know that he packs them with flower food right there he attaches some flower food on them so i thought we could test out um these flowers in three different jugs jug number one is just going to have some plain water jug number two we're going to add the flower food and jug number three we're going to do um, a diy flower food recipe that i found off of the internet just because i feel like not always will i want to go to yaya center to buy flowers from this guy so i want an option whereby i can just quickly whip something up from the kitchen and hopefully it will keep my flowers looking fresh for long so over here we have three different or even more like we have multiple types of flowers and i that's why i picked this bouquet so that we can also see maybe which flowers will work best with what so yeah let me go get um three i know i don't have three vases so i'll just look for something that we can put them in Okay, so like I mentioned, I'm terrible with flowers. So this is not really a tutorial, more of a review and a test, just so that we can test it out together and see what works, <laughs> you know? So I have a blog post that I found and this woman, she looks like she knows what she's, doing, she's talking about. So we are going to be following her. I will leave it down below in the description but in case you want to check the blog out for yourself. So she has um, prep bouquet prep before you add the food so i'm just going to follow that so step one you receive the bouquet and try and keep it cool until you can prepare the flowers i've literally just bought these so we should be good with that so first remove the rubber bands and trim the stem so yeah, i'm going to go ahead and unwrap this So now our flowers are out and in case you see me making faces <laughs> it 
it's because I really do not like how flowers smell. I like how they look, but the smell for me is really, mm -mm. I, I, I really do not like how they smell. So even in my room, I put them so far away from my bed so that I don't have to constantly be smelling them. I just look at them looking pretty from afar. So she has instructions on how to cut them. She says, using a cutting board, I have a cutting board that I've just washed right here. Um, cut off one to two inches at a slant. So don't cut them straight, cut them slanting. And she says you should also remove the leaves from the bottom of where it's going to be touching the water, otherwise it will mold. So that is what was happening to my other flowers because I didn't remove the leaves. So yeah, let's get to cutting. Okay. We are done here are all the stems i cut off and leaves so i feel like i went a bit ham with removing the leaves i was like oh oh unataka to toy you want us to remove everything and i literally just because i was only supposed to remove where the water will be but you know what yeah it happens we've already done it so i'm going to split them into three and then we can go ahead and put them in the vase so I'm back, cleaned so many leaves, <laughs> but it's okay. I know I understand why, you know, they will stay alive after this because I cannot put all that work and then you die on me. How? Can't be me, <laughs> and then they die. <laughs> Anyways, they won't wear. We are wishing well over them. So um, I only have one vase. These other two are jugs that we are just going to use because they really will serve the same purpose. Um, on this one, we're not going to add any flower food of any sort. So I'm just going to insert the flowers in here. I also know that you're not supposed to put too much water. So this is the amount of water I have put. Hopefully that is an okay amount. I'll just place these in here and then make sure there is no leaves inside. Maybe try to make them look a bit cuter. I mean, the way <laughs> they are so few, <laughs> it's hard to make them look cute. But I've really attempted to put equal amounts of flowers in all the three. So yeah, here is our first one. On this second one, I'm going to put ordinary flower food. Let me get closer and show you guys how it looks like. This is the flower food that came in the pack. Yeah, so I'm gonna just, wait, does it have instructions? Eh, just dump it in, nothing special. Ooh. It looks as if I've added oil. It looks a bit oily in the water. And then I'm just going to add the flowers. Uh. In goes the second one. Then for the third one, we are going to DIY the plant food. So the recipe, so the DIY flower food calls for equal parts of sugar and apple cider vinegar. I have my sugar right here and the apple cider vinegar I'm using is this one right here. So I'm going to put in about that much of sugar, maybe add a bit more like that. And then 
pour in our apple cider vinegar. I think that's about enough. And then mix it in. Like that. Now just so that I can get this whole mixture out, I'm going to pour some of this water in here to just swish everything better. And then dump it in. I even feel like I can get a bit more out. Mix it. And we're in. It doesn't look quite mixed on the inside though. So then the last ones, oop, this one is upside down. Oh no, shaka chika. Even Dolanzanga, by the way. I'm trying to get my face in there and this is the only place it fits. So here we are, I feel like a whole plant mom. So I'm going to leave these over here. Then we're going to check up on them on Thursday. Today is Tuesday at about 7 p.m. So yeah, we'll be back in a couple of days. So our flowers have been set aside. They're all in the same area. So I know nothing fishy will be affecting one flower and then not affecting the rest. So we're good with that. And since we're already talking about plants, there's something interesting that I saw on the internet, which is propagating your kitchen herbs in water. In case you don't know the meaning of propagation, it's basically creating a new plant from an already existing plant. You know, kama unataka kupanda ziko nyingi, then you propagate and then you plant it. So now this is just propagating in plain water. So you just put, I have this salt shaker. I'm sure my mom is watching this just wondering. <laughs> this is where all her kitchen things go. So I have this salt shaker and I have the herb that we are going to be propagating today. This is a rosemary. And I'm just supposed to put water in here, stick it in here and roots are supposed to grow out. I'm going to insert a picture right here of what we expect this to look like, like a well propagated herb in water so that you can see the results that we are expecting. So just like with the flowers, you're not supposed to put any of the leaves in the water. So I don't know how far down this will be able to go maybe i just shave off like half of it let me bring you guys closer so you can see what i'm doing so here we are i'm just going to remove the bottom leaves where i assume the water will get to can you see like that I don't know how long it takes roots to grow, but I might have to update you guys on this on a separate video. But hopefully by the time we are ending this video, we'll at least see sign of some roots. I want to give you guys a closer shot of how we are currently looking so that we have a starting point to compare with. Okay, so I'm just going to or should I just put it in here? I was going to transfer the water, but the water that is in here looks like it's... Oop, it's still... It's falling in. Do I bend it a bit? So that the... Like that. So that the leaves can stay outside of the water. There. Do I just reduce some of the water? that we leave a bit more and then there we go 
much better. So yeah, this is our little rosemary that we are hoping to propagate. So the article says that you should place it in a place where there is sunlight but not direct sunlight. So right in front of our window works great as you can see i'm filming at night i ended up producing a bit more water just to make sure that the leaves don't enter in there so the water reaches about here and my leaves start about there so this should be fine so we're going to look at this when we come to look at our flowers so for this last step in the spirit of truly committing and trying to do better by plants <laughs> i got us a present yay i feel like that parent who tells you oh my god i have a surprise for you and then gives you something that you have to pretend yay <laughs> so i got us a slay squad plant if you guys would like you can name the plant down below and our challenge ours because y'all should remind me <laughs> to keep it alive the challenge will be to keep it alive for at least the entire year so december 31st if this year i end up doing vlogmas we hope that the plant is still there with us i've done the finger test like i've dipped my finger in and it's still um the soil is still moist so i don't think i need to water it again i was told i only need to water it once a week so I don't know, I'll put um, every day the vlog is going up, Thursdays, I need to water it. That way if someone mentions, don't forget to water our plant, I can remember to water it. Um, it's a fan, it's a type of a fan. That's all the information I know. I got it from the same guy at Chaya Center for 650 Uh Yeah, that's basically it. The only thing is that she's looking a bit basic, like down here. So I got... Some art supplies I got paints this point thing and a brush from office mat and we're going to try and make her a bit cuter so yeah cue the time-lapse guys <laughs> this is what I have painted. Now we know, apart from killing plants, I am not artistic either. So I can see my camera is flashing. So I will see you guys on Thursday when we are doing our next checkup for our flowers and our rosemary. This one, we will also water her on Thursday and hopefully we can keep her alive. Please don't forget to name her in the comments. I'd really love if she had a, a Slay Squad plant name. <laughs> Happy Thursday, guys. I am here with Planty. She's still alive. And now that the paint dried, it looks a bit more of a metallic green. A bit cuter than what it looked last time. No? So it's Thursday. Like promised, here I am to water her. This is a succulent that I had killed and my mom somehow revived it. So I read about, um, what's it called? Reverse watering. So you take a bowl, you put water inside of it, and then you have to make sure that your plant has holes at the bottom. If you look at this one, I don't know if it's visible, but there's holes at the bottom of the container. So to prevent over watering, what you do is you put the water like in a container and then you take your plant and you put it inside. Whoa, that's a lot and it's going to pour on me. <laughs> yeah, you put your plant inside the container like that and then it seeps it from the bottom. So that's why you have to make sure that it has holes at the bottom. So you leave it in there for 10 to 30 minutes. So we're going to come back and take her out okay so don't mind the mess at the back i just wanted to update you guys on the flowers i did label them on that day so this one was plain and this is how they're looking i'm not sure if you can see very clearly these some um, you see like this one it looks like it doesn't look too great it looks like the petals are starting to fall off or maybe that's what usually happens i don't know <laughs> comment and let me know turning a bit brown this ones the yellow ones look like they're doing better than any of the rest even the white ones are doing okay so maybe roses are a bit tricky to keep 
um i had put one red one in here and as you can see it's even flopped down to the ground next up we have the diy plant food one and y'all <laughs> It, it does not look any better. I don't know if maybe it's because the place I put them, there was no enough light. So maybe I'll put them next to a window for the next couple of days. The white ones are flourishing. I think now I know to be looking for these white flowers. Even the yellow ones look like they're okay. But again, the red one looks like it's struggling. I'll try put them in light to see if these ones will look up um yeah that is it for this one then last but not least is the one with the flower food and guys this one is doing the best all the flowers over here are flourishing except from again the two red ones which right now i think i am <laughs> i'm convinced it's the light maybe it needs to be put where there's light that it can look up and face the direction of the light otherwise yeah so i think Paying that extra cash to get the plant food inside your, with, with the order of your flowers, is doing the flowers good. So I'm not feeling too bad about paying a bit extra. So I'm going to put these in light and we're going to see how they perform on Sunday. Today's Thursday. I almost forgot our rosemary. It was still by the window. I've just put it here so we can look. I've checked. There's still no sign of roots coming out but then again that will take a while so that's the update for this one see you guys on sunday one week later and here we have all the flowers these are the flowers that had just plain water in them and as you can see they're actually dying like even the yellow ones that were fine the other day they look like they're going this is one that had the diy plant food also the yellow flowers look gone but the roses look much better because you can see roses for there versus roses for here this ones look really really good and then this is the one with the store-bought plant food right here i'll try and look for where you can buy plant food individually or other flower food individually um in case your flower person doesn't give you uh, flower food so as you can see paying the extra coins to get flower food is definitely worth it and i think this is what i'm going to be going for when it comes to our rosemary as expected i will have to update you guys as we keep on going because definitely i don't think the time is enough to get roots out of this as for our plant here do note that if you have a painted vase or your container like mine if you dip it in water to do the reverse watering it might spoil the paint <laughs> on there literally one week later i think we can now wrap up this video thank you so much for watching and always remember to work hard and have good intentions until next time bye guys mm -hmm.